So when we bought this house a year and a half ago, one of the things that we were most excited about was someday updating the kitchen. Now, the existing kitchen is big, it's got lots of storage, but it's very dark and outdated. So it's out with the old, in with the new, as we add our dream kitchen to our dream house. Come on inside. So this is my wife, Katie, and our dog, Norman. And today we're gonna go through and plan out exactly how we want our dream kitchen to be. And we get to pick out new appliances. Yes! Okay, Katie, I need you to shut your eyes. Now, I want you to imagine your perfect dream kitchen. Do you see it? Okay, open your eyes and describe it to me. White, on everything white. Yeah, our kitchen's so dark. It is dark. Yeah. And just outdated. White countertops, maybe a little marbling, white cabinets, brass hardware. If we're gonna do some sort of backsplash or tiling, I think white subway tile with a darker uh, grout would be really pretty. Definitely. I would love to have gas stove instead of electric. Oh yeah, because right now we just have a little bitty cooktop, yeah. but like an actual range. Yes, double ovens underneath instead Ooh, of stacked. Yes. That would be great. Vent hood. Oh, a vent hood, yes. So everything. One that house actually vents yes. outside, yes. The whole house doesn't smell like whatever you're cooking. Yeah. Coffee bar, I want uh, a coffee bar. Yes, coffee bar. Coffee bar. Trash compactor, didn't know I was gonna love that, and I do. So if we can keep that, <laughs> I want to keep that. Okay, we'll keep the trash compactor. We'll just get a new one. Perfect. Okay. That works. Yeah, that works all the time. I was kind of thinking behind the sink where we've got the split level countertop. What if we just made that one level and that'll kind of open up the kitchen into the little dining area. Love that. And we can put some bar stools underneath and kind of have like a breakfast nook. Yeah, love it. <laughs> okay, you know what we get to do next? What? Let's get a Home Depot and pick out some appliances. Yes! Ready? Woo! And so we're off to our local Home Depot to pick out appliances for our new kitchen. Now, it's a good idea to have all your measurements and know what appliances are running off of gas or electric. And homedepot.com is a great place to do some research before seeing those appliances in person to make those final decisions. And the staff at our local Home Depot, especially Sandra here, was amazing and so helpful. So we're going with this one? I've heard good things about uh, Bosch refrigerators. I'll open her up. I'll open her up. White and four. I like it. Simple, spacious. I like it. Bosh it is. We're gonna do this one? Yeah, let's oh. do this one. Okay. It comes with pink you dishes. Have to, you're being recorded. Oh, <gasps> it has a third rack. Yes. Oh, who doesn't want a third rack? So this one? Yeah. This, this is our dishwasher? Three racker. Let's do it. Let's do it. We got everything picked out. Now we can go back to the house and start tearing it up and ripping apart our kitchen to get it ready for a new one. Woohoo! Ready? Woohoo! Uh, uh. Oh, oh, I did it! <laughs> so I called in some reinforcements to help with this kitchen remodel. This is my friend Clint, a retired firefighter with years of experience building cabinets and doing remodels. And this is Jeff, my right-hand man over at my Johnny Builds YouTube channel, and he's a very talented woodworker in his own right. And with that, the three of us began the process of demoing the kitchen. Doors first, right? Yep. <clears throat> Let's do it. Take the doors off and go from there. All right. Big remodels like this can seem intimidating, but you can break it up into smaller projects to make it seem not so daunting. And of course, make sure you're being safe and wearing your PPE, your personal protective equipment, and always consult a licensed electrician before doing any electrical work. We move these upper cabinets, which are being replaced with some floating shelves, and then we can pull out those old stacked double ovens that awkwardly jut out in this corner of the kitchen. I also decided to tear out all the cabinets along the east wall, and this is where our future coffee bar is going. We picked out a stainless steel undermount sink with a brass faucet, and the countertops are gonna be a subtle white marble quartz. We found a 48 inch wide gas range and a double oven underneath and a stainless steel 48 inch vent hood to go above it that matches. So all of these products came from Home Depot and shopping for our appliances on homedepot.com was easy and the shipping was fast and convenient. 
Okay, let's jump into the design and I'll show you what our vision for this kitchen remodel will be. Now, starting with this nook of the kitchen with the double ovens. Like I said, the double ovens, they jut out and really close off the space. So to open this up, we're gonna remove those double ovens and then replace it with a 48 inch wide gas range, a matching vent hood, and this really should open up this cramped corner of the kitchen. Next, we're gonna remove all the cabinets on this end of the long wall and turn that into a coffee bar, which is gonna have an archway, a pendant light, and a couple floating shelves and a subway tile backsplash. And last, that split level counter behind the sink is gonna get turned into a single level breakfast bar where we can park a few stools and this is gonna help to further open up the kitchen. All of our appliances from Home Depot have finally arrived and I can't wait to show them off to Katie. This is the, uh, this is your range. I already got all the cardboard off, but uh, you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> oh, look at that. I love it. You know, we I totally picked out this model over a couple others based on the name Thor alone. Wow. Double ovens. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Oh, what are you gonna bake first? So much stuff. No, 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 not until it's moved in. But then I can do it? Yes. So this is the Bosch fridge that we went with. The one we originally looked at ended up not being in stock. Check. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. That new fridge smell. Oh, this is nice. It's got buttons. Oh, I love, oh, it had the oh. drawers right here. Water, it right It is here. water. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You just put your cup up in there. Oh, hello, freezer. Oh, it makes ice. Our current fridge, the ice maker doesn't work, so having an ice maker is a big upgrade for us. Use your muscles. Ah. Bend with your knees. Look at that. <gasps> My trash compactor. It's a trash compactor. But this one, I got a panel front. We're building a panel, and it's going to look like it's part of the cabinetry. Ta da! Here, babe, what are you, what are you, babe, what are you? So, again, not the dishwasher we originally picked out, but this one is, is beautiful. Really nice. Very similar, different brand. This one's an LG. Oh my gosh, you mean and look. <gasps> has, still has that third, third rack. rack. Oh my gosh, did you know that was in the back? <gasps> I think I'm gonna like that. This dream kitchen makeover is made possible by the Home Depot and make sure to check out the appliances and materials that we use in this project at homedepot.com. All right, thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to the Home Depot YouTube channel as well as my channel, Johnny Builds, and stay tuned for our next video where I'll show you how to build and install cabinets. Thanks for checking this one out and I'll see you back here next time.